Good afternoon, guys. Yes, it's me. It's Matt. I'm back, the bit of a zerker. And I've got another review for you this afternoon. Hope you're having a fantastic Saturday out there. It's clouding over. It's horrible out there. The sea is looking choppy as anything. But I'm in the warm. Got the Christmas tree going, waiting for the other half to get home from work. And I thought, what a better thing to do than to do another review for you guys. Now, before I start, thank you. Thank you. And I say this each and every time, it's because I mean it, but thank you so much for all the support I'm getting over there on Instagram, at what I'm doing, I'm over there as Viking Beer Matt, and also on my YouTube channel. And the whole reason that I set up my Instagram and YouTube channel is to purely help, support, promote, advertise, and to show you guys there are small brands out there, individuals and craftsmen that are making some amazing, amazing products which we really need to get behind them, help them, support them and encourage them. Because if we don't, they're going to give up. All we're going to have left are these massive factory, sort of like pumped out bits of tut that have got no soul and passion behind them. And with crafts, it's kind of a dying art. One of those things that we used to do, and if you wanted something, you have to go out and make it, build it, whichever it was. And... Now, because there are all these factories making the stuff, that sort of people have lost that art of how to do it. And I'm really loving these people that are still kind of keeping the whole arts and crafts scene alive. Now, in a week or so's time, I'm going to be doing my top crafts, gift ideas for Christmas uh, video. It's going to be a live one. Um, I'll give you a notification in the next review or so or over there on Instagram as to when I'm actually doing it. But it's going to basically be small brands, crafts only, which is all I ever do. And the, my favourite things that I've reviewed and seen and looked at and great ideas for Christmas presents and gifts. So with all the reviews that I do on my channel, stuff that gets sent through to me, stuff that I go out and buy myself with me hard and pennies that are left over once you pay those wonderful bills. And all of the reviews that I do on my channel are completely honest. Everything I do is my own opinion, and I am completely unbiased. So if something turns up, or I go out and buy something, and it's not great, or it's bad quality, or whatever reason, I will say so constructively. I'm not just going to sit here and slate stuff off, because what's the point in that? And at the same point, if there's something I really like about a product, I will say why I like it. With all the reviews I do, links will be down below in that description there box. Please feel free. Sorry, just grab my coffee. Please feel free to give us a subscribe or subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I really want to keep this channel going and doing what I can to help others. And in order to do that, I need your support. So please give us a subscribe or a like or comment down below. I do comment, uh, reply to each and every single comment that is made. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, can't beat coffee. Okay. Now, as you probably am aware, are aware, I'm aware, are you aware? Um, I'm a huge advocate uh, of upcycling, of recycling stuff. Stuff is just going to usually get binned, end up in landfill sites, and I love that. That whole idea, whether it's using old material and creating teddies from it, whether it's using off cuts of wood and making beard combs, putting something to a new use or making something completely new out of it which is something I have received through in the post a couple of days ago to have a look at, see what I think of. Just angle the camera down a bit, because it feels a bit weird. <coughs> to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. This is, has been, or has come in from Crafty Lee, who's the female, uh, from the UK. Her other half is a gamekeeper, and she basically makes handmade... Um, bespoke pieces of what I can only be described as artwork. Um, she does sort of hair clips, fascinators, those sort of strange little hats that sit on the side of women's head, brooches, pins, wreaths, and her other half, like I was saying, is a gamekeeper. And obviously gamekeepers, they go out shooting and pheasant shooting and stuff like that. And it's a bit strange I know you're thinking, well, why is, why is he reviewing sort of like feathers and stuff? Well, my nan and granddad used to be shooters um, over in the Fens. He used to have his own farm and always went out shooting with my nan, had a couple of black lab gun dogs. And 
In the corner of the room, uh, they had this massive golden pheasant. I've never personally been shooting myself. Don't have a problem with it, don't have an issue with it, as long as you're eating them afterwards and using them. And I know stuff has to be kept down because pheasants are everywhere. But they used to have this golden pheasant and in Nan and Grandad's, uh, my Nan and Grandad's garage, they'd always have pheasants hanging up and it was just kind of part and parcel of youth and was helping Nan and Grandad sort of pluck the pheasants before they cooked them and froze them and gutted them and everything. And I really love this because it kind of reminds me of my Nan and Grandad and my past. Now, this is what has been very kindly sent through. It is a pin. You can see the cap of a shotgun cartridge on there and these usually just end up in landfill or binned or thrown away and the feathers as well which again are usually binned and thrown away and I love the idea that she's taken this to I describe it as art because I think it's really nice I love the colors in there I like the composition of it but she is very craftily Crafty Lee, there you go. Um, cleverly turned this into a pin. And as you can see on the back of that, you've got a pin. And it's a decent pin on here. It's not just a kind of regular safety pin. It's got a nice hook lock on there. Really well put together. It's sturdy. It's not flimsy. Everything seems really well sort of, I don't know whether it's heat. Yeah, it feels like it's glued in place. Really nice composition of the pheasant feathers. I hope the camera's doing these feathers justice. You've kind of got the greens in there and there's purple in this one. If, very similar to sort of mallard feathers, some of the pheasant ones and how they look. And I love that whole autumnal look from pheasant, fe, pheasant, feathers, pheasant, fe, pheasant, fe, pheasant feathers. And I'm starting to discover there are a lot of people doing these. Um, I love the fact that each one is completely different. They are handmade and she basically, uh, Lee is basically making loads of different things now and she's putting up for sale. And I love this whole kind of country living. I live in the country even though the sea's just over there. And there are a lot of people using these shotgun cartridge cases for other things. And um, there's some, this one, that's got toothpicks in it. There's this one, which has got matches in it. And so I love the fact that it's been recycled, upcycled, reused into something else. And this is a piece of art, in my opinion. Price on this, only five pounds, which is kind of ridiculous because I actually have looked online at buying a couple of these because as you know, I wear kilts. So I'm actually gonna be using this as a kilt pin. Um, I've got a really nice sort of tweed looking kilt that this is going to be going on um, instead of a kilt pin. I might put a sort of weight or something behind to just stop that apron from flapping, but I love this. And it's only £5, considering I've seen a lot of these online going from 15 quid all the way up to £30, which I think, yeah, okay, there's nothing wrong with that, that's fine. But at five pound, this is just an absolute steal. It's a thing of beauty. A is doing something with that animal and using it, as opposed to just sticking it in the bin. And I cannot support her enough on what she's doing. I think the creations are absolutely magnificent. The work that's gone into this, and she hasn't even got a website at the moment. As far as I know, it's purely running through Instagram. Um, it's well fixed together. There's no, I've not had any problems. I have worn it outside on my jacket just to give it a bit of a test in this winter breeze that we've got. Wind breeze. Slightly stronger than a breeze, but not quite as bad as wind. Um, hasn't fallen apart. None of the feathers have gone out. Um, occasionally give them a brush just to keep everything looking fancy and plush. But really beautiful thing. And I have actually worn this, like I say, a couple of times. And I've already had a couple of people comment and say, Oh, that's really smart. And they're hunters as well, because um, we got a lot of that around this area with uh, deer farms and sort of pheasant shooters, and there's often shoots going around, literally just live down the road from the Sandringham estate, and there's a lot of that going on. And I turned up at Sandringham, because me and the wife, we take the dogs for a walk around there, 
And people say, oh, where'd you get that? That's really good. That's such a good idea. I really like it. So it's nice to see that other people have kind of got the same thought as I have, as opposed to just going, it was a bit weird, but actually going, that was really, really nice. And I sort of like said who it's from. And I don't know whether they bought any or followed or whatever I said, but just show her some support. She's making these and they're like, oh, I bet they're expensive. And I was like, eh, five pound each. Like, really? So... I think she could, uh, Lee, or Crafty Lee, could do with putting it up a little bit. I would quite happily pay 10, 15 quid for this because I know it's a one-off thing. And it does remind me of my nan and grandad. And it's, in my opinion, a thing of beauty. And this is going to be my kilt pin on my sort of tweed country style kilt that I often wear out uh, when we walk the dogs and move welly boots. But really, really nice. Thank you so, so much to uh, Crafty Lee. For sending this through i will be putting links down below please be sure to give us some support a follow and a like and i really do wish you all the success with this my wife's actually looking at getting one for a brooch um for a jacket so i'll be buying another one absolutely beautiful though i hope you have enjoyed this little review this afternoon and please give us some support and help and follow and Thank you so, so much. This will be featured again in my um, Arts and Crafts Christmas gift ideas and small brand Christmas gift ideas in a week or so's time. So you will be seeing this again. But thank you so, so much. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please comment down below, like, share, whichever. Um, anybody out there needs any help, support, promoting, advertising, anything in general, please get in touch with me. Either send us a message over there on Instagram, I'm over there as Viking Beard Matt. Drop us an email, message me down below, comment down below, whichever you do nowadays on YouTube. And I hope you've enjoyed that. So I hope you have a fantastic weekend, whatever's left of it. It's Saturday afternoon, uh, back to work again tomorrow morning. But I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your help and support. I really appreciate it. We just need to support the other people out there that are making all these amazing things, whether it's metal work, leather work, clay work, beard products, skin products, hair products. As long as it's small brand and either individuals or craftsmen out there, we need to help and support them. Sod the big brands. They've got a shed ton of money that they can throw into marketing, promoting and advertising their products. These smaller brands don't have that, which is why we need to help them out. So thank you guys for that. Have a great afternoon. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on helping and supporting each other. And above all, keep on loving each other. Growing those beards if you're growing one. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next review. Or whatever. From me, Matt, the Bearded Berserker. Have a great afternoon and fantastic weekend. Thank you for your time.